Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we're going to do your general love read for the end of August. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information is in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive tarot card reader. Which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of Crystal Organite Pucks. and doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for our reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. And I literally just heard Aries. So some of you guys could have met someone during Aries season. There could have been a separation during Aries season. And then also, you could be dating someone with strong Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I feel like this is for people who are in a new relationship, okay? Because the song that I heard when I was meditating over your energy was Knocked You Down by Carrie. Was it Carrie um, Hilton? Hilson? Whatever the case, I'll leave the link to the song in the description box below. It's featuring Kanye West. So I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow reading if you so choose. Two. Now, what I'm picking up from that strongly is that some, you know, because the lyrics of the song is sometimes love comes around and it knocks you down. So just get back up when it knocks you down. I've, I've seen the major kind of tower card and that's the card of Aries and also Scorpio. So again, Aries energy I'm picking up. It doesn't have to be for everybody, but I'm just putting the signs out there because I know a lot of people like to hear the signs. But I'm picking up strongly that. There is what I'm picking up is that somebody is may have jumped into a situation quickly after not even healing from a past relationship because with that tower is making me think that this is it just gave me a fresh energy like it was something that was recent a recent breakup with someone and somebody jumped into something very quickly so let's see let's see what we get today okay as always, I'm going to hold the deck down, change the card at the bottom. There are absolutely no reversals in either one of these decks. So if I get any reversals, I will read them as such, okay? At the bottom of your general energy deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is um, the Hermit card. Going within, seeking. I feel like somebody moved on very quickly before even really going in and seeking or acknowledging themselves, healing themselves. Because if you look at it, this passage is leading up to this person. And this is also a card of Virgo. And so I feel like during Virgo season, something there's gonna be something that's exposed about this person, like that they may have be a wanderer, like a nomad. This might be a type of person who just jumps in and out of relationships, or you know, has moved on from situation. Because there's a path, so somebody has moved on, but didn't really do the healing work completely. Because you see how his heart is like, excuse me, a diamond, and that's not a bad thing. But you know, diamond, what they say, diamonds come from crushed coal, and coal is like something. You know, like hard, like hard-hearted. But this person is coming off as, you know, healed. But I always say, whenever you see cards where the characters are wearing hoods or helmets where you can't see their full identity, you can see his face, but he's hiding something. Something is not being exposed because he has a hood on, okay? So some this person is holding something back is what I'm picking up. So let's part the deck so you can see every single card is upright. Look at that. First card, I, I am noticing, like like I said, healing, okay? Somebody needs to do some healing work with the temperance card. Healing and balance. But what's positive is that the sun card, the most positive card in the whole deck of tarot, that means there's a brighter day. Anytime the sun comes up, it's a brand new day, a brand new start, a brand new opportunity for something new. You could have also met this person during Leo season or this person. Something has happened. Something happened in Leo season because you have the hermit at the very bottom that's Virgo. And then right before Virgo season was Leo season. So something took place during Leo season. You may have met this person during Leo season. Or this person could be a Leo, someone rising Venus individual. Next card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, this person needs to do some healing work. They're coming off a stoic, having a strong front. But look at that. You see how the fish is like jumping out of this cup? That's like emotions that are getting ready to overflow or, or bubble over. But this person isn't letting that be seen. They haven't really done the work completely on moving on or healing. Because there's pinnacles right here. But there's none in her basket. And even somebody's even dropped the ball as far as their healing because you have a pinnacle here on the ground. And pinnacles, you know, that's about the physical body, um, the stability, your finances, your home life. But some, you know, somebody's betraying. And remember I said Aries, right? This is Leo Sage Aries. Somebody's betraying 
coming off as if they're okay, victorious, happy. If you ask this person about if they're okay after the separation, they're gonna be like, shoot, I'm fine. I was I feel better without this person. But I don't feel like that's completely the truth. Next card I see stand up. Yeah. They're telling you they're they've moved forward and also major kind of cherry, right? Something could have happened during cancer season. They could have separated. Okay, I'm picking up they could have separated from this person during cancer season. And you may not have known it. They may have told you a different time frame. They may have told you they separated from this person six months ago or in June. And keep in mind, cancer season isn't towards the end of June. Also, yeah, they could have separated from this person in June. Also, this person could be a cancer, someone rather than being this individual. At the bottom of your clarifying deck, yeah, this person moved in very quickly. Eight of Wands, fast moving communication and fast action, quick action. Wands always denotes action, putting energy into something. So this person could have moved into something very quickly. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sash, Aries, someone rising, Venus. As we part of the deck, ooh, look at that. This person came in quickly. Ace of Wands, something brand. That's what I'm telling you, for a lot of you guys, if you're dealing with someone who's brand new, this could have they could have moved on quickly. And I, I see, you see how this is peeking out right here? Can't make this up. Tower card, Aries again, also Scorpio. So they moved in very quickly after a breakup from someone, you know, this is giving me a karmic vibe because the tower card is something that's built on a faulty foundation. This person could have been a karmic individual, a karmic relationship. And all karmic relationships are not bad, but it's just not meant to last long term. And the breakup was, it came out of left field. It wasn't expected, okay? This person could first, middle, last initial could be B or J. I'm also seeing D and C. I know this is a moon, but I'm seeing their first, middle, uh, last initial could be B, J, D, or C. I'm picking it up also. Next card, yeah. This person could have been cheated on, especially if they're a fire sign. Th their person could have cheated on them. One, two, three. I know this is not third party, but I am picking up three as far as a third party. And they're looking for happiness and wish fulfillment. I feel like this person has... um. One of those lover mentalities where they just want to be in a relationship. They want to be in something long-term, some type of commitment. And they just move. Because, let's see. It's, it's in a deck. But I feel like they're always... Because in the Three of Wands, if you go back to the video, they're looking into the future, into the horizon. So they're always looking forward to some type of passionate love exchange. Some type of relationship is what I'm picking up, okay? Look at that double card peeking out. Mm -hmm. So let's part the deck so that we can get our shuffle on. Somebody may have cut your person off or your person may have cut someone off. Okay? Because you had a queen of swords looking in the direction of the hermit. I feel like this is your person and this may be their love interest. Male, female, doesn't matter how the situation applies. But someone may have been cut off. Also, this may make this person guarded. I feel like if you're dealing with a new person... This person's guarded. Because remember I said with this hood on his head, concealing something, hiding something. They're hiding how guarded they are because they want love. And I'm hearing uh, Libra. Some of you guys could be done with Libra. They want love. And they're coming in like they're open to it, but mm, they could be guarded. Look at that. You got the Seven of Wands. That's the ultimate card of being guarded. But it's coming up reverse, and I feel like it's because they're acting like they're not guarded, but they definitely just left a relationship that was long-term. They could have been with this person for 10 years or known this person for 10 years. Also, I'm hearing that they can have a 10-year-old child with this person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's get your two cards. The first one is your general energy, and the second is your possible outcome and clarifiers for both. Four, Aquarius, Summer Rising, Venus, and Visuals. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this person may even be talking about moving in together very quickly. Because you have the Pentacles leading up to this passage. Especially if you're dealing with a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also, this is Pentacles. So we are currently in a Pentacle season, Virgo. So this person may talk to you towards the end. Because ten, right? You had Ten of Pentacles. The ten is the end of a cycle. This person, towards the end of Virgo season, this person could be talking about you two moving in together. I feel like it's going to be very premature, though. Even if you want this. Yeah, look at that. Because you had the death card coming up in reverse. Uh, right? That's an ending and new beginning. A death and rebirth. Transformation. This person hasn't completely healed with it being in reverse. They haven't really put a death to the situation. An ending. 
This is Major Arcana for Scorpio at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, yeah. Major Arcana Justice card. Balance. Needing to have balance. They can't, they have not even fully seen. She's blindfolded. They haven't even really seen. Again, hood on. Something is hidden. They haven't even seen the complete end into the situation. Or they don't foresee it the way that they should in order for them to move on appropriately. Them or you. You would know how to surprise. Okay. You seen that one bounce out? Again, King of Swords. This person's guarded. And remember I was saying, I feel, I'm, I'm hearing Libra. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I'm hearing Libra. It doesn't have to be. It could be either of the other air signs or any other sign, but I'm hearing Libra. And keep in mind, we're in Virgo season. So right after Virgo season is Libra season. So I feel like this person may be coming out because swords, that's communication, also the mental. This person could be coming out and explaining to you that they are not completely over this past person, but they do strongly have feelings for you. Mm-hmm. Because now I'm hearing a song again. Don't let me. um Knocks you down. Hmm. Okay. Let's hold the deck down and get an additional message. Yep. Still need to choose a path. Two of Wands are bright. That's about needing to choose a path. Do I move forward or do I stay in the past? Holding the globe. So somebody, they need to take, make a decision about which way they're going. Some of you guys remember I said source. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Gemini. Some will rise in Venus. This is the Roman numeral two, but it also looks like the Gemini symbol. Let's part the deck so that we can shuffle. Yep. Holding on. They feel attached. And remember I said karmic, especially with that tower card. They're still attached emotionally to a karmic. They feel bound to this person with the devil card. Also, that's the card of Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, someone rising Venus individual. The Leo season, again, you could have met this person. Or there could have been some progression in your relationship during Leo season. Let's see. Let's get a clarifying for the death card in reverse and the king of swords of bright. Four Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Huh. This could also be you. I feel like this could be you being guarded. The bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. But again, I always say with this card, he's, what's behind this blue curtain? Like this person seems like they're happy and they're okay, but deep down inside, it could be something hidden associated with that. And the fact that it's blue, you know how you you know you hear you hear the phrase like down the dumps and feeling blue. So it's a mask, like you know, they're masking their feelings, their emotions. This could be you also. You would know how to supply us. Okay, you see one flipped up. What do we have? Healing this we seen this earlier. Someone okay. So you have a major arcana being clarified by a major arcana. You had a death card. Things are not completely balanced, especially emotionally. Because even though this is the card of Sagittarius, look at this. Water always denotes healing in emotions. So there's still a need for some type of healing because something has not ended completely. Even if they're no longer with this person or you're no longer with this person, emotionally, cups, emotions, Juggling emotions because they're pouring. I'm, I'm seeing this person pouring like this, you know, just constantly pouring. Okay. Things are not completely healed in this situation. Someone hasn't completely moved away. And it may be you, Aquarius. Because, again, you have more swords. You have children with this individual. Or this individual could have a child. And, you know, you've, you've grown a bond to this child. Ooh. I didn't even get to shuffle. Look at that. <laughs> Again, same cards, okay? Balance, right? And I just said that with, with the temperance card. So you had a king of swords being clarified by the two of pentacles. And, ooh, and remember, I was just saying the same thing. I see this cups, like, pouring these emotions. And look at that. Look what he's doing. Going back and forth with these emotions. And I know that because look at the background. These waves. Something new denotes this smaller boat is coming in. And then there's a, a boat with more baggage in it, which denotes years and time. Baggage, luggage. You know, the relationship that already has some type of foundation to it. Pentacles as foundation. So somebody came into something brand new, but this is not, even though the ship is sailing, it has not completely sailed. 
you know, it's still in this person's atmosphere, yours or this person. It hasn't, it's not even out the picture yet. So that's what I'm saying. It's not, something is not completely ended with someone. That's what I'm picking up. Again, two, looks like a Gemini symbol. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Gemini. Some will rise in Venus. <sighs> Libra also. But more than anything, I'm picking up somebody, again, you know, because both of your clarifiers is about needing to heal and still juggling, you know. So somebody jumped into something or moved into something without completely healing. It could very well, because you do have the death card right next to the king of swords. It's your energy, unless you're dealing with another air sign. Because you do have Libra and Gemini energy here. Sun will rise in Venus. So somebody jumped into something without completely allowing something to die out completely on all levels, emotional, physically, everything. Something has not died out. But somebody, I do feel like somebody's working towards it. If it's you, Aquarius, I feel like you're, you're moving towards it. But you're not completely there because it's being clarified by the Two of Pentacles. Still juggling. Still needing to deal with it. Still in your head a lot about it. I know that because look how big his hat is. Still in your head a lot about it. And this could be your partner also because like I said, there's still some airy energy. So it could be a Libra. It could be another Gemini also. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone rise a Venus individual. Some balance needs to be restored. Clear as day. Okay? So Aquarius, someone rise a Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.